Hello my babies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming a Primark makeup look. Basically I picked up a bunch of new makeup from Primark which is all inside this little box and I thought two things we haven't done in a while are one, a Primark haul and two, a testing new makeup video. When I saw their new Glitter Junkie range I was immediately like Zoom. I was like a moth to a fly because I just saw the glitter and my mind was like <laughs> I'm literally such a massive sucker for glitter, gems, metallic, like all these things right up my alley. This is kind of how the range, let's call it range, so it's got like this glitter junky writing and I've just got a whole bunch of the makeup from that range. It is mostly eye products that I have here if I'm not mistaken, I've got like this palette some glitters, I've got some eyeshadow cream, this which is like literally just like metallic paint, I think like you can use this anyway on your body, metallic body paint, yep, it's super sweet, some like glitter glue stuff, some pigment, I've got like a lip product here, this is a gloss, I didn't know, I think I actually got a colour, I think they only had like a gloss range, and I think that's everything I got from the glitter junkie range, and then I just thought that I would use these little jelly-ish sparkly guys today because I've never used them before and they're also from Primark and it'll be my first time ever testing a silicone sponge so there is a chance that we might hate it and immediately revert back to my beauty blender. Okay, I've just realized I've said something really stupid. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna use these beauty blenders, beauty blenders. And then I realized, for what, girl? Because I've already done my foundation, my concealer, my powder, my brows, my bronzer before this so we can get straight into the good stuff because this is kind of the same the same look I got going on here as I do all the time I will try and link as many of the products as I've used on my face down below as I can I'll also link what I'm wearing today because I do get those questions and normally it is always in the down bar I cannot link the Primark stuff because Primark doesn't have an online shop I know, I know, I know. It's just the way it is, but I'll link what I can and let's just go on and get straight into the makeup. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these shades? Like, hello, let's actually get them on out of here. I seriously don't know why. They try to make it so, so hard. A little fun trick for you guys. If you're trying to get into like a little plastic like this, you should find yourself like a small earring. Use the earring to pierce the packaging and normally with the way it cuts, it like makes it easier for you. It's just called the Glitter Junkie Eyeshadow Palette. That is it. These are the colors. Okay, so this is kind of what we're working with. I am not gonna lie, I literally wanted the palette because of this like color here, this bright pink, and I'm really hoping that this turquoise is like damn turquoise. It's a little bit more sparkly than I imagined that it would be, but like some of these colors are just cool. Let's swatch two of them. Whew. Choices. I'm gonna swatch the green, because that's like, it's just calling my name. Ooh, man, like I don't have a lot of green eyeshadows. I've got like a light green shade, but this is, that is pretty green. Like that's quite cool. This is a really nice uh, St. Paddy's Day kind of, I don't know why I want to smell it. St. Paddy's Day kind of a color. <coughs> I think I just inhaled eyeshadow. And let's go in with, I feel like I'm gonna test this light purple because if you can get a shade like that right, like it's generally quite hard to make like a nice pigmented purple color. And it's, you know, in my professional <laughs> opinion. Mm hmm we talking. This is what we are talking right now. In my head, I'm thinking I kind of need like some kind of a transitional vibe. So I was thinking I could use a little bit of this orange just as a base. And then I'm thinking that maybe we can, may the Lord be with us, attempt a potential cut crease using the blue and the pink. Hallelujah. First, before we do that, I want to test out and see how this little guy looks so I can see if I want to use him on the eye or where on the eye I would want him to go. So this is a Glitter Junkie Metallic Eye Pigment. This was one pound. Our shadow palette was four pounds, which I feel like is a really good price. You get quite a few shadows in there, and generally I have found that Primark eyeshadows are good value for money. That was hard. Do you have a name? 
just metallic eyeshadow paint. Do you have a color? Oh, and the color mystery. Primark, you haven't let me down there, have you, girl? It's got this pointy little end, which I really like. I like it when it comes out. Oh my, it came out quite quickly. I'll use a small little beauty blender to like dab this out and see what we're working with. Okay, so it's slightly less pigmented than I would have imagined, but it's really sparkly and pretty. It can go over a color, that's for sure. I actually really like that. But it's like got like a metallic sheen, which I really like. I put it in the stupidest place ever. I'm gonna start off using my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna go in with this pink shade and test out what we are working with. I'm taking quite a lot to start with, which I don't really know how wise that was. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of cover the eye with that. It is quite like a peachy tone. It pretty much comes out like what it looks like in the palette. I actually really like this shade. I'm a fan. It's not too pigmented that like you put it on your eye and you're like, oh damn, that's never gonna blend. Make the outside pink and the lid blue. Dabbing it in, dabbing, dabbing. Going slightly more gently with this one because I'm just not sure how pigmented it is gonna be. Girlfriend, girl. I love this color. I love this color. You guys need to experience this. That is how the color is coming out. It is really pretty. It's really nice and bright. Like it didn't lose brightness while I was putting it on, which I am all here for. By the way, I haven't cut the crease in like freaking ages, so this could go one of two ways. Really well or freaking really badly. I'm hoping for the really well option. I'm just gonna take this slightly smaller blending brush and I'm gonna dip in the little bit of the purple and just slightly darken the very crease of that before I cut in. Yeah, I like that, that's working. Next step. It's caught in the crease. Caught in the crease. Gonna use this little studio brush. Taking my Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. It's dangerous activity. Starts bringing the big guns. Gonna blend this bad boy. Okay, that's gonna do it for now on that eye. Next up, we're going to go in with this bright blue shade, and honestly, oh my god, ah. Ooh. Ooh. Are you guys seeing this? It's so pigmented. I'm so happy right now. Oh my gosh. Guys, I always promise myself that I'll practice cutting the crease for you guys, and then I'll come on here suddenly out of nowhere and be like a ninja, and you'll all be shocked. That day is not here yet, but it's coming. I can feel it. If you're looking for a purple, I mean, a turquoise shade, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, I would highly recommend picking up this palette because literally this turquoise is like one of the best blues that I own and it is so bright. Like, are we seeing the same thing right here? And I'm loving the fact that when the colors like ever so slightly touch each other, like they create like this purpley shade. Ooh, do, do, do. That's quite nice. It's come off as a quite a radiant, uh, young, sparkly shade. There's no like light going hitting it, so it's not really giving it justice. But yeah, that's pretty. We'll be using that as a highlighter. <laughs> so here we go, taking that white shade that we just swatched. I'm gonna be putting this to the inner corner of the eye. I feel like it's gonna blend with the blue and be like quite pretty. Mm, putting a little bit of that, not a lot so hard to get into it's like they don't want you to use them it's it's really sad please all i want do not do that at home oh my god the lids are, oh my god it's raining glitter there's literally gonna be so much glitter in the bed my it's gonna be like a fairy oh my god it's hilarious this glitter is looking so so pretty from the little pieces that just fell out i am shook it's looking really nice i don't know if it has a name from what i can see it doesn't have a shade but it is just this really pretty blue color. I'm just gonna take some of my glitter fixer gel glue from Barry M. Put those on. They did have a glitter glue but I already have one and I feel like it's best to like try and use one up first rather than buying like crap tons of glitter and like they I mean crap crap tons of glue and they dry. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a brush. Oh wow I got so much glue on my eye. Help send help. I have a brush that gets used for glitter often. 
what the hell? I think it is like eating off my eyeshadow. I'm gonna take some of this. I'm just gonna tip it onto my hand and tip it back to get some out. I need to find like a sensible way of applying glitter. Do any of you have any suggestions? Cause <laughs> your girl be struggling. The downfall is so real. I am shook by this. These glitters are so, so pretty. Just going to put on some mascara and then pop on some fake eyelashes. Today, we'll be using the Scandal Eyes Wow Wings Mascara from Rimmel. I've got my eyelashes on and all applied now. It was a bit of a nightmare with the glitter, I'm not gonna lie. You guys must definitely be super careful with the glitter and actually like getting it in your eye. Just especially if you're putting on false lashes, just watch the little gems because sometimes they fall into the lash and you don't want to like get that into your eye. We're gonna be doing the lower lashes and I'm just gonna take some of this blue tone again over here and I'm gonna put that onto the lower lash line. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm freaking impressed so far. I love the eyeshadow and I absolutely am obsessed with the glitters. Then we're just gonna take that same brush because we're not really gonna be using it again. I'm gonna dip it into the same pink color that we've got and I'm just gonna blend it in the outer corner. Kind of create like a purplish tone, I guess. You don't want too much of that. Try keeping that fairly close to the lash line, blending that up and outwards. Hey babe, I don't know if you wanted a drink. Are you ready to make it? Oh, should I have straws? Thank do you. Have, do we have straws? I think we do. You're so cute, we don't. I mean, you get silver straws, like straws that don't get thrown away. Mm. Ah, it's good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, babes. Thank you, babes. Love you. Mm. This is some good gin. Thank you, little baby. I feel like something weird is trying to go down, like with this eyelash here. Why is it so pointy? I think like the other day my cat got a hold of some of my eyelashes. I was not impressed, to say the least. I was like, you don't need this eyelash. This has been mad. She's so inquisitive, she'll play with anything. And I think she's like torn the little lash up. Any wahoozles. We're just gonna take a small little brush, anything that kind of has a small end like this. And right now, I'm just gonna be dipping back into this like whitish sparkly tone and I'm just gonna put that on to the lower lash line in the very inner corner. We still have so many things left to use and it's like I don't know where to put them all. We're definitely gonna put some schwabang here. Making room. Now that we've done that, we're just gonna put on some quick mascara on the lower lash line. Come back to me for now. Does this happen to any of you? so annoying. All the hairs, they just aren't the same length. I'm not going to make the lower lash line too thick. I don't want my lashes to be like clumpy or anything. It's broken out. I really want to see like what this bad boy is all about and what it does. That we can find out what we want to do with it. I'm definitely feeling like I want to put it on my chest. This one is in the shade Glisten. I recall that there were two of these. One was like a lighter shade than this. I wonder if this, how long it will last for. That's always a question I have with these. I'll revert back once I've opened it, but I feel like these cream things can dry out really easily. It's so pretty. Look at that. It looks like I'm holding the sun or the moon. This is amazing. I don't own anything like it. It's soft, guys. It's really soft. Oh my god. Are we seeing the same thing? Holy, holy freaking hat. This shade. I'm too excited. We're going to straight away go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on these collarbones. I've already uh, sabotaged it now, but I got so excited that I took a lot for the party. This is a dark color, but I feel like it's going to work. We're going to make it work. Blend out the edges. We gon' be gold. We insist. I'm just gonna like diffuse the edges because that makes it super sparkly. We're glistening. We're gleaning. I'm gonna dip my little beauty blender in the side of it. This could fuck up all my makeup. I dab it on my face. Ooh, it's bright. It's darker, right? That probably wasn't the right place to put it. You could literally take your finger, put it in here, 
swipe once on your eye, on each eye, slap on a liner, eyelashes, and that's it. That's all you need to do for your makeup. On top of that, I feel like it's justified to want to use more glitter. Let's try out the white glitter. I'm just going to put a little bit of the glitter glue. It's freaking metallic AF. Metallic AF, yo. Wow, that looks amazing guys this is awesome for a festival if you want to create like something that's super shiny and metallic and that can be seen from a distance bam like that is so glowing i'll bring you guys closer so that you can see thinking that i'll use a, a little bit of this blue guy this is in the shade unicorn and basically this is like glitter that is already in a glue Looks super freaking cool. It kind of feels like a jelly, like it's like a glitter jelly. I'm just gonna pop some of this underneath my cheeks. This is super handy to take to like a festival or something because you can just take like the whole container and the glitter is already in the glue so you don't have to worry about that. Ooh, I love it, I love it. It's pretty. I like it. I recommend everything. We need more of it. These shoulders, they need attention. <sighs> Have you ever seen so much glow? No, 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 you haven't. This was £2.50 and it's in the shade Daydreamer, which looks like a pink color. I feel like this is where we could go most wrong with this lip gloss. Pretty cool that the mouth is like eating the glass. I like that. I'm just going to give this bad boy a swatch. So I can see if it's necessary to have something underneath. Okay, yeah. Definitely necessary to have something underneath. This is where I swatched it. So you can see there it's just like a glowy shade. It's actually really pretty. You could get away with using this as like a highlighter vibe. If you didn't have a highlighter and you had this. So we're just going to use my Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Doll Parts. I really want to pick up some more of these Jeffree Star colors. They are just really good quality. It's super easy to use as well. Look, it's a perfect color for this look. Like liner. What liner? You don't need liner. With this, because it's so freaking easy. That shade is super pretty. I love it. Just waiting for that to like settle, die down a little bit. Die down. Oh my. I really like that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus it on the center, which will really like make your lips look bigger and like full. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. I am so, so, so impressed by this Primark range, the Glitter Junkie range. So far, I have really not been disappointed by a lot of Primark makeup before. And to be fair, for the amount of money that you pay, you honestly are getting really good quality. Especially the shimmers and the glitters here. Like, I just feel like they've gotten those so, so right. And I really think it's worth your money. Like, just look at how shiny I am. It's perfect for the festive season. I'm so, so excited to go to a couple of summer parties and festivals. And I'll be putting together one or two more lookbooks for you guys. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll definitely be doing another testing project. Primark makeup video. I've recently seen that they've brought out a tropical range of makeup products that also looks really pretty. It's got quite a few bronzes and shimmers and golds and maybe we can do more of like a warm night out, like beach night out look full glam if you guys are interested in seeing that let me know in the comments down below i'd be more than happy to film that for you thanks so much for watching little angels and i hope that you enjoyed this video and liked seeing me test out some of the new primark makeup i love you guys so much thank you for watching thanks for all your support recently it honestly means the world to me i absolutely love filming these videos i'm not just saying that i really do enjoy it i really love doing youtube and i watch a crap ton of videos and i love filming a crap ton of videos for you guys so if you do enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to support me so i can do more videos like this for you until next time my little savvy babies i love you so much